Jemmy, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope life is treating you all very, very good. So for today's video, I am super duper excited because we're going to be doing another Timo haul. You guys absolutely love the last few that I've done and you're always requesting more. So I thought because we're getting near at Christmas, I am buying quite a few bits and bobs on there, necessities, just things that I feel like I need. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit down and show you every single thing that I got, which I'm very, very excited about. This video is in collaboration with Timo and I'm so grateful to be working with them to bring you this video because it means I can also bring you vouchers and coupons and discounts, which is so exciting. I love being able to share the joy with you guys. And if I can get you a little bit of discount, you know that that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, to be honest, Timo was already cheap, but if you wanna save some money, then you can get it even cheaper. We'll have all of the information below that you need to know and how you can claim the coupons, get discount and all of that. So I I find using the Timo app much much easier than the website. Personally anytime I'm shopping on Timo I'm using the app over the website. I'll have all the details, the download link and everything in the description below but without further right to do that, let's just show you every single thing that I picked up. I've categorised everything because you know I'm a little organised queen these days and I like everything to be organised in its place so everything is in its category. We're going to start with homeware because I'm actually very excited about the home stuff that I got. So this is a mix of Christmas, non-Christmas, Christmassy gifts. It's just a bit of everything, okay? So we'll start homeware. I, okay, I, I, the mugs, I, mugs, glassware, I went a bit nuts, right? But I love them. Okay, so the first one I got is not Christmas themed, but it would be perfect as a Christmas present if you know a mug lover or it's just cute, okay? You might think that's not cute, but I like it. It's one of them, like, glasses. Okay, so there's some stuck up there. You just get in the bottom, please. Okay, so it's glass, I think. Glass plastic. I'm not really sure what it is. Anyway, it feels like a good quality and it's clear, but it's like got that, you know, that like inner dome bit? It's got that and then this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got like dried flowers. I just, I just thought this was so unique, so different. Like imagine someone coming over for a cuppa and you're serving them a cuppa and that, they'd be baffled, wouldn't they? They'd just be like, hey, you got dried flour in me mug? I'd be like, ah! Oh. Okay, because your girl has nailed the iced coffees now, if you follow us on TikTok, you'll know I went through a bit of a situation, trying to make iced coffees at home, wasn't working, they tasted like dishwater, but I've nailed it. I can do it now. Anyway, I thought, well, you know what? I need to treat myself to an iced coffee cup, don't I? I mean, I didn't any excuse for another one. I got this. I really do like this one though. So it's glass and it comes with this little like wooden style bamboo lid and then it has a glass like glass plastic -y straw. I think it's a glass straw as well. Um, now it does have like a poppy sticker on it. I don't know how well you'll be able to say that because it's obviously on the glass. To be honest it is just a sticker. It's not like a transfer or anything so it might be that I just pull that off and use it plain and then I decided Every single year I need a Christmas cup and I always usually get my Christmas cups from Home Bargains or I don't know, Asda, just wherever I am and I say a nice Christmas cup, I'm like, you're coming home with me. But I was on Timu and I seen two and I thought I am not going to get a Christmas cup that competes with them anywhere else. So, she is she. Ah, it's a full on bloody Christmas tree mug. It comes with a little top bar. So this is like, keeps your drink warm. This is your bottom. And you know, that's a good size mug for your hot chocolate, for your coffee, oh, anything. It says Merry Christmas in gold right in there. And it is just proper cringe Christmas, which if you know me, if you've watched my channel a while, I am cringe Christmas. Like, it is me. I don't care for the classy, aesthetically pleasing Christmas. I'm like, no, give us the tradition, give us the red, give us the, ooh, Christmas. That is what I love. And this is just stunning in my eyes. I love it. So I picked up this mug. This one, however, has a snow globe on top of it. I'm sorry, but I think I have a mint Christmas cup collection. And these just add to it so good. So this one's obviously what it looks like on the inside. This one's like navy. And she has a little dome lid. Okay, the next homeware thing that I got, we're moving out of the kitchen into the bedroom. I decided to pick up a bedding. So this is for our main bed, our um, bedroom bed. This is just a reindeer bedding. To be honest, these cushion covers are huge. Like how big do you think my cushions are? 
Anyway, it's just got loads of different coloured reindeers on it and I really liked it. It's not as like traditional Christmas as I'd usually go, but it does have some nice red checked um, reindeers on the actual quilt bit as well, but I'm not going to show that because I'll get in a right mess. But yeah, it's just basic and I really like Timu for their um, beddings and stuff because they're really cheap compared to like Dunelm and the range. Okay, a few little ornamental things that I picked up. First thing is just this book box. So this is obviously just a box that you can put on your table or anything. It is purely just a display box. It's cardboard. So it does open, but not like how a book would open. It doesn't open like this. It opens from the top. So you can actually like put things in it if you really wanted to. To be honest, I got this purely for aesthetic reasons. I just wanted a like I don't know, like a centerpiece for one of the little tables downstairs. And I just thought this was quite different. It's quite nice. And I just think stacked with a little candle on top, it would be quite cute. So that's my intent for this little box. For the office, I picked up this. So basically, if you don't know, I have my own little business called Scrapshare. We sell scrapbook starter kits, planners, uh, and loads of other stuff. But I love in terms of like my scrapbooking and my scrapbooking supplies and my storage I love like vintage looking things and this I loved it is basically looks like a book like a set of books but you have a drawer yeah so this is a drawer and it's like solid wood as well and then you also have a little oh I just think this is absolutely adorable and when I seen it I could not not get it I was just like in my basket you go no if you've just stumbled across this video randomly hi i have two whippets hi i have two whippet dogs i absolutely love sight hounds whippets italian greyhounds greyhounds like i love them all anyway i've seen this and it resembles an italian greyhound or a whippet and i thought you know what it is so cute it's a really nice like plaque as well i like the colorings on it um so i decided to pick it up i'm just going to pop some little string on this little bit here and hang it somewhere where is yet to be decided but it will be hung somewhere okay and then i got another little plaque thing um but this is from my dogs to my mom yeah it is okay with that family and that person but the dogs call my mom nanny or us humans call my mom nanny to the dogs because we are that weird family anyway this little plaque says you are the nanny everybody wishes they had and i'm so glad that you are mine and it is from the dogs to my mom I'm just going to be getting it on Christmas as a little stocking filler off them. So, I know she's going to love it. Okay, that is the home stuff I got. I did get one pair of jewellery. Pair of jewellery? Piece of jewellery? Like earrings, it's a pair. But like, I got one item of jewellery, but two, because I got a pair. Um, And they have a little red hot de-earling and then like blue. I don't know what it was, but I had just never seen an earring like them i'm just thinking though how the hell do they just open like a little clasp like that and you can put it on and close it but yeah i just thought they were so unique i've never seen anything like them before and they were dirt cheap so i thought i'm gonna pick them up i am right christmasy themed bits i didn't get too much but i picked up three little christmas tree ornaments so this one is a little hedgehog herbert this is Herbert the Hedgehog and he's very cute and he's going to have a proud place on my tray this year. And then we'll also have Penny the Pigeon because she's adorable and a pigeon with a Christmas hat. A hat ew. There's something about pigeons as well. I think they're very underrated. Like I think they're so beautiful when you look at them. Like the little greeny kind of colouring feather they have on their neck. Oh, I just think pigeons are so underappreciated. So we have Penny the Pigeon. And lastly, we have Ruby the Robin. This is her. She's so cute. And she's got a Christmas hat on as well. So these are just little ornaments for your tree baubles. They're like an ac acrylic. That's what they're like. But they're so cute. And I just wanted a few little animals. I like very woodland theme. Um, so I like having like a few little animals dotted around my tree. Anyway, the next thing I picked up, which is going to go in my kitchen, is just a little drink sign and it says Christmas, fresh baked cookies, cakes, treats and hot cocoa bar. This is what it looks like. I think it's absolutely stunning. Like, I 
I love this. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It's just in like a kind of tinny sign. But I just thought near the coffee station in the kitchen, this will look beautiful. And I'm always looking for ways to subtly bring Christmas into the kitchen. Like obviously I have my tea towels and I have little signs like this and my mugs. But I want Christmas in the kitchen, but just subtly. Like I don't want to overdo it. And I think things like this are perfect for that. Okay, next Christmas things I got. So you know when you have like something that you want to wrap, but it's like a really odd shape or you just keep looking at it and you're like, you can't be asked to wrap it like we've all been there well i picked up some of the christmas bags that look like this though so not you like these are like proper bags that you could put like an actual present in and tie it up and i still think they look really pretty so i got this one which is in like a gold color and it has a little white ribbon which you can pull and then i got this one which has got yeah traditional like christmasy um like pattern on it and i just really like it santa and a snowman and i just thought these make life a hell of a lot easier when you've got them presents that you need to wrap but you really don't want to wrap picked up some christmas presents for my dog because i'm that person but the first thing i picked up um so i've got two dogs henry and luna they're with it is this little i think it's a donkey is it yeah i think it is a donkey um but they'll really like this so it has a rope neck it's got a squeaky body and then yeah it's just it's just really nice i just thought it was cute and look at its little hair i then also picked them up this snake so henry loves crinkly toys like he loves that noise they're his favorite type of toys and i just thought this snake will be something he really likes so i got him that and then I also picked them up this enrichment toy. I love enrichment toys. So basically this has loads of fabric bits that fold out and you can stick treats in, roll it back up and then pop it back in. Obviously do it neatly and then they can pull them all out and get the treats out. I'm always looking for enrichment toys. I like to keep them mentally stimulated and enrichment toys are so important. So yeah, they get bored of like just the Kongs and stuff. So I'm always looking for things like this for them. Okay, the next bit I get, I am that weird person that collects cards. I don't like collect them to keep, but like anytime I'm out and seeing a card, I don't necessarily have to have someone's birthday coming up for us to buy it. I'll just buy it and put it in the drawer waiting for a birthday anyway i really like this and i thought it was funny it says you are too special for just a birthday card so please do keep the envelope too it's like that sarcastic humor that i feel like i have so yeah someone will get this at some point in my life so card envelope for someone special right i oh i grew an obsession with mini things for my handbag I feel like I was watching a lot of TikToks and people who collected mini things for their handbag and I was like, I really like that idea. So I adapted it and made it my whole personality. Just kidding, but kind of not. Anyway, so I got some mini things. Timo is so good to get mini things. So I picked up a mini hairbrush. This is what it looks like. Now, I really like this one because it has a comb and an actual brush. The one I have at the minute just has a comb. And don't get us wrong, that's fine, but I do like an actual brush as well. And I'm continuously brushing my hair. Me and my mum have hair that as soon as it hits the wind, it just gets tatty. And I hate the feeling of tattiness on my head. Like, it's something that really aggravates us. So, I love this. And I'm probably going to order a few more of them because they are just so handy. I then also got myself mini lint rollers. I have two dogs. Shit gets all over. Um, well, not literal shit, but like hair gets all over us. And lint rollers are just something I constantly like to have. I've seen these mini ones. So this one has just got a little yellow roller. It's got like a little cellophane thing on it at the minute. Um, but I just got this one. And I also picked up another one in pink as well, just so I have two ready to go. And then I also picked up a miniature little brush set. So I did get a brush set from Timo the last time. And I really like it because the brushes inside are mini but the actual packaging it came in is not that small whereas this one is small so this will go in my bag as a whole um i really like it so basically it comes with a variety of small brushes so obviously for your lips and eyes and stuff and then it also comes with a big kind of like blusher powder brush style thing which just stays in like that but yeah i just thought this was really handy i liked the size of it i liked how compact it was and this will be perfect for my handbag okay lastly i did pick up a few clothing items so the first thing i picked up is this brown knit hooded jacket style thing um yeah i like this i'm really into like my cardigans jackets three-quarter zip things i really like them so i picked up this 
yeah I'll probably get a lot of use out of that I then also decided to pick up a jumper I really like the colour combination on this jumper I thought it was so pretty so it's got like your yellows your burgundy your blue your cream um and it's just a cropped with a little kind of frill lettuce hem detailing at the bottom and then I just went for a white plain t-shirt I'm always looking for like plain t-shirts plain tops just to style layer all that type of thing so I just picked up this one it's got little lettuce hem detailing at the bottom of the sleeves and at the bottom of the top then the last thing that I picked up is some Christmas jammies because I love Christmas traditional red Christmas jammies they have snowman they have Santa they have gingerbread they're a wide leg jammy and I love that and um yeah and then the top is basically just a v-neck oversized little top but and it's stunning I'm so excited for Christmas like I am really enjoying autumn this year don't get us wrong I'm enjoying like the wholesomeness and just I'm enjoying autumn but you can't be Christmas in my opinion Anyway, that is going to conclude this Timo haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I haven't did a sit on the bed, sit down, facing the camera video in a while. So it feels a little bit foreign to us at the moment. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye!